Have you ever wondered what the strange and ominous sounding third trumpet from the book of Revelation could mean? The passage speaks of a star called Wormwood that falls from the sky, poisoning a third of the world's waters and causing many to die. This captivating imagery has intrigued believers and non-believers alike for centuries. What could this mysterious Wormwood signify? And what might its fall from the heavens portend for the future of our world? Prepare to embark on a journey through the symbolic and prophetic depths of this compelling biblical passage. The sounding of the third trumpet is a profound and sobering moment. We are confronted with a startling vision of judgment and calamity. A great star, blazing like a torch, falls from the sky. It crashes into the rivers and springs of water, turning them bitter and undrinkable. Many people will suffer and die as a result of these contaminated waters. This is a solemn reminder of the fragility of our earthly existence. It challenges us to reflect deeply on our relationship with the Lord. For when the trumpet sounds, we must be prepared to face the consequences of our choices. The third trumpet calls us to humble ourselves before the Almighty, to seek His mercy and grace, that we may weather the coming storm. It is a powerful and unsettling scene, urging us to turn from our ways and cling to the hope that is found only in our sovereign God, the star called Wormwood, a name that strikes fear in the hearts of many, a celestial body that would bring great calamity, a harbinger of the end times. In the book of Revelation, we are warned of its approach, a great star burning like a torch falling from the sky poisoning the waters, turning them bitter and undrinkable. A sign of the judgment to come. Many will suffer, their lives upended by its descent. But in the darkness, there is always a glimmer of hope. For those who trust in the Lord, the way forward is lit. Though the skies may darken, the true light will never fade. Hold fast to your faith, for the wormwood is but a passing shadow. The Lord's plan will unfold, and his promise of redemption will be fulfilled. Let us not be caught unaware, but rather let us be prepared. For the wormwood is a call to repentance, a final warning before the end. The third trumpet has been sounded. A great star, burning like a torch, has fallen from the sky. This star is called wormwood. It has fallen into the rivers and springs of water. These waters have become bitter. Many people have died from drinking the waters, for they have become poisonous. The bitter waters bring sickness, pain, and death. We must be vigilant and discerning in these troubled times. The trumpet has sounded, and a great calamity has been unleashed. We must turn to the Lord and seek His wisdom and guidance. Only then can we navigate these treacherous waters and find the peace that surpasses all understanding. The impact on humanity will be profound, a celestial body will fall from the sky, poisoning the waters. Many will suffer and die as the once pure streams turn bitter. Families will be torn apart as they struggle to find clean water to drink. Crops will wither and die, leading to widespread famine and despair. The earth itself will groan under the weight of this calamity. In the face of such devastation, our faith will be tested. We must cling to the hope that God has a plan, even in our darkest hour. Though the path ahead may be uncertain, we must walk it with courage and trust. For only by standing firm in our belief can we weather this storm and emerge renewed. The third trumpet has sounded, bringing with it a great calamity. A celestial body, burning like a torch, has fallen from the sky. This star, called Wormwood, has poisoned the rivers and springs of water. Many will suffer and die as the once pure waters turn bitter and undrinkable. It is a sobering reminder of the fragility of our earthly existence. Yet in the face of this darkness, we must cling to the light of our unwavering faith. For the Lord's plan will unfold and His promise of redemption will be fulfilled. Though the skies may darken, the true light will never fade. Hold fast to your hope, for the wormwood is but a passing shadow. Let us be prepared, for the trumpet calls us to humble ourselves before the Almighty.